not everyone changes in their lives. You know, like it, a lot of people just feels like they're just shot out of, of a gun at birth and they just go, yeah. <laughs> you know, all the way to the end, not asking any questions. And, you know, like, uh, yeah, there yeah. you go. The, you know, the life unexamined. Uh, yes, <laughs> exactly. But even those people, I mean, uh, something could happen to them that makes them start um taking charge of their life you know mm -hmm. and um so but how i've experienced uh entities or even i could say the gods uh yes it's 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 a it's very straightforward and like it, it feels to me like the gods don't change their mind you know like it's uh And, and and I just want to make clear that my experience is very limited. So that's why I'm interested in, in speaking with people like you, you know. So, but, and I was really thinking about that question again, because I was sure it would come back today. <laughs> and I thought, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to have to put a twist on it this time uh, to keep it interesting. Mm. So do you think the gods or other entities... Uh, have uh, an effect on our lives, even outside of ma uh, ma uh, magic functioning, you know, and maybe without us knowing. Because it feels like all this invocation thing and this banishing thing, it feels like you're, you're kind of uh, uh, controlling this flow of different energies. Mm -hmm. um, but... You know, like uh, my 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 upstairs neighbor could decide to just uh, you know like break down my door with an axe, uh, and I've I didn't ask for anything. You know, like he. So, is that? Uh, yeah, does that make sense? Is that a question? I think so I think so. <laughs> um, maybe maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll approach it little by little, and I'll ask you for confirmation for the next part. <laughs> um, sure, sure. Let me see. Uh, I think it might be worth starting off with the, the point that the gods don't change their minds. <clears throat> and I think that that is um, true and false in... in um, from different perspectives. Um, mm -hmm. The gods don't change their minds. Hmm. Uh, so uh, let, let, let's, let's start off maybe with um, uh, the PGM, the Greco-Egyptian magical papyri, uh, which mm -hmm. um, uh, are really our... our I, I was certainly one of, one of the oldest... Um, links that we have to um, to the magic that was being um, practiced uh, 1,600 to 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that uh, the the many of the spells in those those papyri were precisely to get the gods to change their minds. They, um, mm. uh, they, they, they believed that, uh, the, 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 the ancient Greeks believed that to attract the attention of the gods was a terrible idea. They, they, the majority of the ancient Greeks would actually, um, spend their lives trying to avoid, um, at the attention of the gods, right? And they mm -hmm. believed that, um, once you'd, Once you'd attracted the attentions of the gods, then, um, then, then that, that was bad news for you um, because uh, because then they would take interest in what was going on in your lives and they liked to toy with humans, um, mm -hmm. and <laughs> right. Um, but then there were sorcerers who understood this, but who also believed that they had the technologies, the spiritual and magical technologies to. Um, to force the gods um, to do their will. And, and this is why, you know, a lot of the magic that's in the PGM is completely uh, unacceptable to, to, 
to, to most modern minds, you know, it's it's like you you can't speak that way to a god. Like a lot of it is is, I mean, it's insidious. It's like okay, um, uh, you 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 say everything that you know about the god to really get the god's attention. Like you you say or you say all, all the god's names well known and secret and then you say okay i also know that you did this and you did that and you did this and then you did this and so this is all part of the invocation right of the evocation excuse me right so you're you're, you're calling the god and you're basically saying hey mm -hmm. i know you i i do know you i know your name i know what you've done i know where you are i know where you were born i know who your parents are oh and by the way i also know who your children are and I'll make sure that they suffer if you don't do what I asked me to do or what I asked you to do. So it's really like mm -hmm. horrible, horrible stuff. Right? But <laughs> this is this was the kind of thing that they were doing. So so um, so 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 I, I'm not sure I can follow you with the gods don't change their their minds, because actually this is this this was um, uh this was commonplace. This this kind of this kind of magic it was fully um, uh, condemned, <laughs> but uh, mm. you know, and 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 feared. But nevertheless, it was stuff that worked. Um, so mm -hmm. so that's maybe a, like a a, a preface. <laughs> um, uh, uh, then then let's come back to to, to the, the the core of your question, um, uh, which yeah. was. Um, well, maybe you could re restate the core of your question, Dominic. Yep, absolutely. Because uh, I'm well. I mean, basically, I'm curious about how the, how the will of the gods, or, or I'm saying the gods, but I mean Just, any disincarnate yes. disincarnate entities. How does it work, and how does it differ from us, yes. from ours? And uh, so, so there is there is. Thank you, thank you. And so, so there is clearly a, a way of um, of of having an effect upon the gods, in the same way as the gods have an effect upon us. But um, mm -hmm. um, and gods and, and and entities, by the way, right? And any a, a disincarnate entity, exactly. I I I guess the core of the question is what is a consciousness, right? <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> I, I can go into what I think a consciousness is, and, and mm -hmm. it, it may be of interest, right? Because, like, what do I know? Of course, but this is my best guess. I believe that consciousness arises in places where enough information is stored. I believe that um, information can be stored, um, yeah, inside a inside a, a living body. Um, mm -hmm. DNA is the the most dense um, uh, information uh, that 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 is known to mankind, um, mm -hmm. and um, I, I believe. Okay, maybe going back even further. To the to the really the, the the core, I am at the core. I am essentially a an idealist in the philosophical sense of the word, um, mm -hmm. as opposed to a realist. So realism in philosophy is when you believe that there is matter and consciousness arises out of matter. I am an idealist, which is the concept that the universe is an idea so the universe is mind mind is mm -hmm. the the fundamental building block of the universe it's mind not matter and matter arises out of mind not the contrary right so so this mm -hmm. is i think it's very important to state that from the start because most people <laughs> are realists just by default without thinking about it it's a it's an assumption right there mm -hmm. is matter and mind arises out of matter. You put the, the matter in the right configuration and it creates creates consciousness, it creates mind. Well, yeah. I believe that actually matter, yes, exists within mind and, and matter works inside mind at large. Matter can work 
as uh, um, as a an antenna for consciousness, as a receiver mm -hmm. of consciousness. And as I say, um, it works as a receiver for consciousness when there is enough information present, sim simply. Mm -hmm. And therefore, your tarot deck, which um, which is a, a, a full representation of all the possible experiences of the universe right in in codified form symbolic form um 70 78 cards which which divide everything in 78 cards mm -hmm. is actually conscious right and so your um your your copy of the iliad right which again um uh, includes all of the possible things all of the possible situations all of the possible mm, life experiences in single sentences um is conscious and so when you when you do biblia bibliomancy and you, mm -hmm. you you're asking the eliad a question it can give you an answer because it's conscious um and mm -hmm. and Consciousness can arise in a thought form, right? So thought forms are very popular um, since the uh, since the Theosophic uh, um, Society misappropriated the oh. idea of the tulpa um, and completely missed. Oh, it. that's what happened. <laughs> I didn't. I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mistook what that oh, was okay. supposed to be, and people ran with it, and it seemed to work. So yeah, cool, fine. Uh, started making mm -hmm. okay. um, um, servitors and so on, and so forth in, in chaos magic and so on. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you've got a thought form. It it's it's it it, it gets con consciousness. It, it it receives consciousness despite not having a material presence it's got um yeah. it's it's it is nevertheless conscious so i, I mm. really like lon milo duquette's tagline for his book uh, uh, low magic uh, he says it's all in your mind you just don't realize how big your mind is and mm -hmm. you know and people really attack him for that he says they, they say you know it's not all in your mind i i called a i called a demon to physical presence and it was there in the room with me and you yeah. know I, my answer to that is you didn't read the second part of the tagline <laughs> like you don't realize how big your mind is it's all mind it's all mind and and you know mm -hmm. everything is everything is within the mind right the the, mm -hmm. the 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 great mind including our idea of our local self right there are i call the lower self yeah yeah so for me oh. magic as i've i oh, you still yeah uh, uh for me magic um uh, uh, as i've as i've um experienced it over the past decade or so has been a realization of this lower self and the higher self, of course, the, the higher you go, the more you get to the mind at large, to the to the all, right? Um, yeah. All being one, right? And um, uh, and um, a, a, well, a lot of ceremonial magic, at least, being about uh, the unification of all the levels of the self, just simply that. Mm -hmm.